What up class, Mr. Sabs here. I'm tired today. Team man, give me that musical love. All right, so today's task is gonna be quite complicated. We're getting to the end of unit 15 and now it's getting real. Because it's so technical, I'm in a high tech location. Let's get started. Unit 15 final assignment is a beast. I'm gonna be splitting it up into three different videos. This video is all about task one only. All right, now this final assignment is a culmination of all of the different skills. So that's putting it all together. That's a good word, by the way. All right, so let's talk about task one. Task one, you're gonna finally start getting into writing a career plan, okay? Now, before you do this, I want three introductory paragraphs. The first paragraph is gonna be titled career goals. All right, so you need to list out what your career goal is. First, I want to graduate IBCP. Then I want to enter a university. Then I want to start working in this industry. Then I want to be director of whatever, okay? You need to list all of those out in your career goal paragraph. Next, you're gonna go into your job requirement paragraph. You're gonna take the career you selected at the end of paragraph one and list all of the skills, whether it's personal skills, academic qualifications, whatever you need to actually do that job. Paragraph number three is gonna be about where you are now. What are your current skills? What are your strengths? Um, and interests, all right? So you can put your IGCSE subjects, it'll show your academic background, all right? You can put your hobbies, any sports that you do, let us get to know you. Once you've done those three intro paragraphs, you're ready to start writing your career plan. You're gonna first start with your short-term action plan. That's zero to two years, all right? A lot of that is probably gonna be completing your business, BTEC and IBCP, and applying to universities, all right? So, I've put a table once again to help guide you through, but you need to list out an objective, what action you're gonna take, any comments, you're gonna put a deadline, and you're gonna have a column to review it later to see how your progress has gone. Remember, this is a living document. You need to continuously update this. Once you finish your short-term career plan, you're gonna then create a medium term. That's two to five years. So now your objectives are probably gonna be more about either entering the workforce or going to university. So once again, there's a lot of different steps in there, whether it's applying to universities, whether it's updating your CVs, whether it's getting references, there's tons of things you're gonna have to do to achieve those two to five year goals, all right? Once again, look in the assignment brief, all the details are in there. Finally, you're gonna to need to create a SWOT analysis. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Strengths, what are you good at? Weaknesses, what are you not so good at? Opportunities, what are some external things that could help you get your goals? Threats, what are some external things that'll slow you down and prevent you from achieving your goals, all right? What are the haters gonna do to you? So complete a SWOT analysis. All of that is your P2 criteria fit, fulfilled. Now, if you're a little bit brave and you wanna start looking at merits, you're gonna have to write about a one-page essay talking about how you're gonna achieve all of those targets in your career plan in the time frame that you've required. So you need details, you need specifics. Things like grade targets, all right? So I need to achieve at least this grade to get that goal. To do that, I need to do this and that. So all these in-depth strategies of how you're gonna get there, all right? That's how you get your M criteria. Distinction, all right? Those of you who are really, really looking to push yourselves. Your D1 needs you to evaluate your progress. So this is gonna be after a period of time, after you've started working on your career plan. You need to go back and say, what have I done? Where am I falling short? Am I on track? Do I need to adjust my career plan? You need to really evaluate, okay? So you need to come up with reasons of why it's going well and reasons of why it's not, and some solutions, okay? To get the M's and D's, you can't be vague. Okay, vague means blurry, that's another good word, okay? You have to be clear, crystal clear. All right, B-Techers, my apologies for reading. This was a lot of stuff, but this is your task one, okay? But it'll get you your P2, your M1 and your D1 if you finish it. Good luck, B-Techers. Mr. Sabs out. Peace. Did you see me sitting in that golden chair?